Boom, headshot. Yeah. I like that. Okay, guys, the SSG 10 A3 is out. I tested it, I played with it in an actual game, and I have some opinions, and I want to share these opinions with you. As always, I work at Novridge, I'm biased. Um, can you trust me? I would like to think so. Take it for what it's worth. Okay, I have my cheat sheet right here, so I'm gonna go according to the list. So, the upper, you know, this part right here, the upper, the, the, where the power is made, where the accur accuracy is made, hop-up chamber, everything, it's exactly the same as SSG 10A1 and SSG 10A2. So from this gun, you can expect exactly the same power, exactly the same accuracy as from those two rifles. Meaning, it's good. It's good. Got him. As always, you should clean the barrel, you should check everything to make it, you know, perfect, perfect. I always completely disassemble my guns when I buy a new one. In this case, cleaning is optional, I would say, and that's the only thing I've done. I just cleaned the gun. Good. So, first impressions. When I first saw the stock, which is, by the way, made by Maple Leaf, it's a very, very solid stock. When I first saw it, I'm like, okay, this is ugly. I'm not gonna lie to you, I didn't like it at first. I'm like, what the hell is this? What, what, what the hell is this rail right here? Oh, it took me, it took me a few days to, you know, kind of start appreciating all the features which we'll get to in a moment. And I have to say now, I like it. I do like it and I prefer it over the A1 and the A2. Um, not, not considering the money, of course, it is the most expensive right now. If it's worth to you, uh, you judge that for yourself. But when I'm talking purely about the rifle, I do like it now in terms of looks. I do like it in terms of features as well. At first, I didn't like it. Over time, I kind of got used to the looks. And especially when I first like touched the whole rifle and, and when I kind of start fiddling with it, I, I kind of, I see the point. I see the point. It is feature packed and it's lightweight. It makes sense. This is the short barrel configuration. Down there, river, river. Woohoo! Got him? Yes. That's Alex. All right, now we can advance. It's very good for transportation uh, and all that. If I fold the stock, it's, I can basically put it in a backpack. If you ever went to a game with a bunch of friends in one car, you will definitely know how much pain it is to, you know, pack your stuff. And this makes it way easier. This, yeah, I didn't like it. I probably still don't like it that much, but I can attach bipod. Uh, there is gonna be some extensions uh, in the front. I'm not too, I'm not too uh, interested in those. Uh, you can definitely, if you, if you hate it, you can definitely cut it off and make it flat, make it look a little bit different. Um, uh, at this point, I don't, I don't care that much. Okay, M-locks here in the front are nice. You can attach something. I'm not attaching anything to a sniper rifle because frankly, I don't need anything on the sniper rifle. I just need it to shoot accurate. So M-locks, I don't care, they look fine. Uh, however, you can put a cable. If you are recording videos, you can unscrew the, the, the rail, you can cut the plastic inside in these spaces, and then you can put a cable like this, which makes my life way easier. Magazine holder, I think makes sense. It looks great with this rifle. And you know, if you are not recording videos, you can put a spare magazine right here, and then you can easily reload. Very fast, convenient. I'm not, in the game, I wasn't even running magazines in my pouches. I just had, okay, actually, now I'm lying. I wouldn't, I wouldn't run magazines in my pouches because I can have one here, I can have one here, and I rarely use more than two. Actually, I never use more than two because I never have more than two. So if that makes any sense. In the actual game, I wasn't running it here because if you are recording videos like me, you can put a power bank right here. And then you can connect it with a cable, which makes it look way nicer. You don't have to have the power bank somewhere, you know, on the gun. So that's great. I, I like that. For me, you probably don't record videos like me. I appreciate this feature. You can use a magazine here. That's good. Okay, QD mounts. I only use one QD. Uh, it is solid. 
uh, I don't I didn't have any issues it is solid there works just like it should more QD mounts here and here and it's ambidextrous okay uh, that's pretty self-explanatory folding stock okay you can switch the stock to fold on this side or on this side I cannot fold it to this side because I changed to golden bolt handle which is slightly bigger and I cannot just easily fold it to that side I switch to this side I don't care I only use it for transport so it is good enough uh, I like it it is solid that surprised me usually I don't really like uh, folding stocks because somehow I have in my head okay they will break I don't see this breaking it's completely solid there is zero wobble because they just made the angles right and it just fits together you see like even when I push it it kind of takes some force it, it is well designed stock good job maple leaf okay cheek rest adjustable cheek rest you can adjust you know up and down front back and you can tilt it I like it tilted because then it sits nicely in my face and I have the scope right in front of my eye okay uh, as you can see this is my preferred position more to the back rather than to the front because when I rack the slide uh, slide <laughs> when I rack the bolt my thumb if I put it more forward my thumb would hit this and it doesn't feel nice when your hand hits this so I have it rather back and then nothing is preventing me from you know racking the bolt it's empty dark no spacer okay uh, you can make this longer or shorter I prefer it in the shortest configuration because again that gives me a nice uh, you know look through the scope I'm exactly where my head should be I see the whole picture if you are too far or too close you don't see as much and it's not sharp so this is exactly how it should be low power variable on normal sniper rifle this would look ridiculous if you are a sniper you should have a big scope right it looks proper that's how it should be however since this is so futuristic and that it's short this is the short barrel configuration long barrel would be about this this long if that makes any sense if you can see okay on this rifle low power variable makes sense that's very good news because in my opinion this is the only scope that makes sense because it comes from one to four for me I, I this is my preference okay yours may vary when I was actually playing a game in a forest I preferred to have it set to two which you still don't get on pretty much any big scope uh, usually they start at three and they go to nine when I'm using a big scope I usually have it set to the lowest magnification which is three here I can go to two or even one so when I aim my field of view is quite big and I can easily find the target it's basically right like a red dot I can just look through it I can have both eyes open and I can see basically one image it is distorting a tiny bit because it is a scope but the distortion is so small that I can just have both eyes open and it's good I like that and if I need a precise shot I've, I've actually used this lever a lot uh, in the game I can zoom to four and I can have my magnification and really make a really headshot maybe I will overlay some of them because they were really nice okay the scope I like it the red dot on top not really necessary I have it there because I wanted to try I used it I believe once and then I never used it again because I have the one power um, one power option on the LPVO so the red dot mm, meh. grip okay you have selection of three grips uh, currently there will be probably more in the future I like the one without grooves if uh, my hand never fits the grooves because when I'm holding a rifle I tend to hold it really high if I overdo it if this is obviously too much but if I overdo it it's something like this in reality it's something like this and as you can see finger grooves never fit me so I hate finger grooves this is what I prefer just straight no grooves <clears throat> bolt handle um, I have it gold because we have it here and um, yeah I just put it there I do I kind of like it if you are like me you know I don't really camouflage myself that much I just I just like it it's gold whatever leave it black I mean your call it's just accessories what I've done to this to make it you know 
my own and to make it as usable and convenient to use as possible. Okay, first of all, I remove the safety. I hate, I hate the safety, seriously. Every time I rack the bolt, I just put it on safe and then I cannot fire. If I want this gun to be safe, first of all, I don't touch the trigger, you know, keep your finger straight. By the way, this is also nice. Like they made a cutout like, uh, like right here, they made a cutout for your finger. It fits perfectly inside. I like that a lot. So don't touch the trigger. And if you want to make it safe, you know, just shoot. Actually before, take out the magazine and shoot. Then it's 100% safe. Uh, safety is kind of pointless in airsoft in this particular situation and it makes my life way easier when I'm actually playing. Okay, then modification with the cable. I already talked about that. This is a nice way if you want to run a camera on it. Pop-up adjustment lever. So here we have the enlarged. Uh, you guys asked for bigger lever. Here it's actually causing a little bit of an issue for me. So I'm gonna try to show it here. Since I don't have that much to grip on, I always kind of somehow land it on this and then I moved it, you know, and that's not good in a game. So I really had to make sure I had to program my brain that I always touch this corner right here so that I don't move the lever. I'm thinking about cutting this lever to half the size, perhaps, uh, to make it harder to adjust on accident. So that's that. Other than that, clicks nicely in place, but if you hit it with your thumb, uh, you lose your accuracy. <clears throat> screw glue, bolt handle. I had to put screw glue in there because when I really <laughs> to do this a lot of times, it can happen that it unscrews you know, itself. So I put screw glue here, but as always, you should put screw glue everywhere so that you don't have problems uh, down the line. Uh, there is screw glue here, but if you exchange it, put new screw glue there. Uh, here in the stock, we have this screw glue. Uh, also screw glue everywhere. Like if you have a problem that your screws are getting loose, screw glue, that's that. Okay, and those are all the modifications that I've done to this particular rifle. Of course, I added this, this is aftermarket. You don't get it with the rifle. I'm not gonna make this video any longer. Uh, this is what I prefer now. This is what I'm gonna be playing with. And this is my go-to sniper rifle. Of course, I still prefer my gas blowback rifles, but in the winter, you know, I need to play with something that works in winter and gas guns definitely don't work as well. So this is my sniper rifle right now and that's it. Hope you liked the video. See you in the next one.